quick roadside stop for a pee and uh, checking out these massive termites, termite mounds. Pretty cool. And there's an eagle on the road down there. So we've got about 80 k's to go to Weeper. It's been pretty cruisy so far. A lot of bitumen um, and the gravel's been pretty reasonable. Some corrugated sections, but not nothing too bad. Can't complain. G'day, welcome to the Weeper camping ground as they call it, it's not called a caravan park. So we are almost beachfront, got ourselves a nice spot. Are you ready for a swim, Ollie? Yes I am. So we've just done our schoolwork. Sarah's hanging out for a swim and we will yeah, just relax for the afternoon. So the beach is just over there, apparently they do get some crocs up there. And on the way up, we went past a guy who had just bent his chassis on a B250 towing a forward fold camper. Poor bloke, they were all okay. Um, but yeah, end of that car, at least for now. They did manage to drive up um, towards Weeper. Um, so at least they're here, they're safe, they got their camper. Someone else towed that for them. Um, but yeah, a bit of a bit of a bummer. He hit the, one of the washouts and bent it like a banana. Amazing views, eh? Yeah. Far out. Amazing. That was a B. So, we're at the Weeper Bridge. Apparently this is the longest single lane bridge in the southern hemisphere. How would you be? So just having a bit of a squiz. You might drive over later. Pretty amazing. We go down there Ollie and then we walk along underneath and you get to a fishing platform. So you must be able to launch your boat. And the fishing platforms over here. Looks pretty cool. I bet you that would be amazing fishing. That is one thing. So the camping grounds that we're staying at, oh man, so many boats. It's absolutely incredible. Really, really busy. There's a few vans, not that many. Most people seem to have campers or tents probably. Or boats is the most common thing. <laughs> Amazing. Get some cracker sunsets here, man. Good morning. So we're jumping on the mine tour this morning. Should be cool. This is the largest bauxite mine in the world. They do a town tour and a mine tour. Leaving the kiddos and Sarah at home, you've got to be 12 to go on here. You know, see what we see. Two tugs on them, and you part here with one tug. They have a pilot on board. A lot of little birds will nest in the side here. We get a lot of our uh, rainbow bee eaters. 
migratory bird. These are stainless steel carriages, or wagons I should say, and each wagon is carrying 1,000 ton of bauxite. Uh, just so you know what it is, this here is a beneficiation plant. Swim time again. Not a bad little pool, is it? It's really hot today. It's probably 33, 34 degrees and no clouds. We're at uh, Barra Munchies having dinner tonight, even though we're over budget, aren't we, babe? We are, but too bad. Yeah, so this is the local caravan park uh, fish and chips, which, I don't know, does it have a good reputation? Well, I think so, it's probably the only place in town, so I guess it does. Uh, there's, you can eat in other places. No, but I mean, like, fish and chips. Anyway, there you go. A barrel burger. What are you saying? They're having showers. Haven't had one shower. They haven't had a shower since they've been here. Actually, awesome. Olive Cooper did because he done a wee in his pants, so he had to. The um, shower in the next place. Yeah, they're not so um, salty. Don't have you seen this? Oh, I can't wait. Hey. Taste that. There's soft spots. No, I'm good, Ollie. I don't want to taste any more water. So I was just packing up this morning and uh, <laughs> threw the kids chairs in the back of the camber and then I saw this green frog sitting there. I thought it was a toy to be honest. <laughs> anyway, check it out. These things are absolutely awesome. Such amazing animals. So he's blending in with the kids chairs. He would have come for a ride up to the top of Cape York. Anyway, we're going to find a nice home for him to sit. To the dirt, yeah? Well, we're saying goodbye to Weeper. So, yeah, three nights here. It's quite an interesting town, actually. I reckon it's very similar to Dampier. Um, really beautiful, nice sort of area. They don't do much FIFO here. Um, it'd be interesting to live out here for a while, I reckon. Quite an interesting spot. As a tourist, not uh, a ridiculous amount of stuff to do, but it is a, it's quite a little oasis to pull into after being on the dirt roads for so long. So these are the ships. This must be a new one this morning. Um, they load that up until the black line so the ship sinks down. So yeah, 13 metres they dredge that channel out to. And the ship's uh, draft is 12 and a half, so hardly any clearance, and they can only leave on a high tide. But that's what makes this town tick along. Um, pretty amazing, actually. Really enjoyed our town here. I'd recommend coming. Welcome to Morton Telegraph Station. We've just pulled up. We got ourselves a nice campsite, um, but very expensive. So it would have been 40 bucks for us. That's what we had sort of worked on, and we thought, Ugh, that's expensive. But they've upped it. So we ended up paying $50 for an unpowered site for a night, which I don't know. I mean, I feel sorry for them having to employ staff and all that. Yeah, I understand that. But man, 50 bucks, if I'd known that, we would have just kept driving. Sorry. Um, but that's a lot of money. A lot of money for a, yeah. But on the flip side, it is a pretty beautiful spot. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, it's nicer than Han River, and that was only 30 bucks. Um, but Han River had some other stuff. But there is nice bird life, we've got good privacy, can't complain about the campsite, so I don't know, it is what it is, I guess when you're up here you pay the money, but then we were going to go to Bramwell, which we'll probably do on the way back, and apparently that's only 30 bucks, so 
you know, I don't know how you justify it all. Um, obviously, we try and travel fairly economically, um, so yeah, it kind of hurts the hip pocket a bit. But they got some cool walks here um, and uh, a barrow hole, which I don't know, everything I've read said there's no barrow there, but <laughs> we'll go and have a play. So we're walking to the Barra Hole from Morton. It's only, I don't know, a couple hundred metres away, but you can't drive. And uh, apparently someone caught a one metre Barra the other day, <laughs> caught it and let it go, so good on them. We do have fishing gear, although I could be bothered bringing it all the way down here. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to find a logger dial. Yeah, why, would they down the why not? Yeah, they do, that's right. So, this is the barrow hole. Sarah reckons it's much fuller than what she's seen. Look at that. The waterfall, what they said. Oh, that's pretty cool. Here's the lagoon. This is where the cows go. Get in here with a horse or a cow or something. Good morning. So just leaving Morton Telegraph Station, uh, heading north. We're going to take the bypass at Bramwell around and try and find a campsite near Fruitbat Falls. Um, there's a couple you can stay at. Less that are accessible to caravans, so that limits our options a bit um, with mum and dad, but we will see what we can find. So, yeah, this place is really awesome. Um, just not worth 50 bucks a night, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, sorry, but I'd come back again if it was like 30 or 40 maybe. It's quite a nice spot. Um, anyway, we shall do a couple of nights near Freebat Falls as the plan. Welcome to Scrubby Camp. So we've jagged ourselves a campsite. We were going to camp uh, at the junction on the old Telegraph to Fruitback Falls. Fits about five vans in there, but it was chockers when we got here. So poked down the Telegraph track. This is Scrubby Creek, I think, behind us. Um, and we've managed to get a pretty nice spot. There's two good spots here, plus one on the other side if you had a small setup. Someone's over there. Um, free camping. So we're sort of in between Elliot and Fruit Bat Falls. So I'll stay here for a couple of nights, have a look around, do a bit of the telegraph track. Um, and yeah, can't complain. So we have left camp and we are walking to Fruit Bat Falls. Should be good. Good kids. So this is on top of the falls. If you turn right, you get to the little spa pool. What a cool place. Same as sun like that now, but really beautiful. Fantastic. 
KB. What do you think about this place? Do you like it? Bye bye. <laughs> what about you, Oliver? Bye bye. Do you like this place? Yeah. How much? Well, um, a bit Was like it worth it. driving up here? Yeah, you, if you had the surfboard, you could probably just hop on your surfboard and surf down the waterfall. And where would you end up? At the bottom of the waterfall. We'd go off the edge. Yeah. Gee whiz, that'd be a bit scary. What are we doing, Ollie and Keeper? Looking at the coloured fires. Why is it coloured? I just don't know, but I've coloured stuff in there. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Telegraph track. There's a few little fun bits, nothing serious. Got a, got a little wheel off the ground. <laughs> okay. So mum's uh, mum's a bit worried about this four-wheel driving. So we're going to take it a bit easy. It's good fun. We should do the rest of the telegraph track. What do you reckon? Definitely. Yeah, no. Why not? So lots of fun sections on this uh, telly track. <laughs> there aren't chicken tracks around. Oh, that one just goes all the way around, no problem at all. And you can try and drive up here. We came down on that side easy enough. Fun and games. I was uh, winding mum up before. <laughs> Dad won't come down here, I don't think. <laughs> seen on YouTube. Let's see. Looks like people are having fun up here. How beautiful is this? <laughs> no way. What a spot. So this is the more hardcore version of the telly. Someone uh, in an 80 series has just made it up there with a bit of winch. Amazing. Absolutely psycho. So there is a chicken track that you can take around the other side, but everyone wants to have a bit of fun.
So here's the crossing. We'll turn around here. No point going any further really. Don't have a swim. Look how beautiful it is though. Amazing little water holes. Such a wicked spot. Man. So we're just back at camp uh, from Elliot and the Saucepan and also Twin Falls and Canal Creek we got to. What an awesome morning, really really cool. So uh, the Cape, I don't know, we kind of come up here with no real expectations. Um, a lot of driving and we sort of were wondering, um, I suppose if it was, I don't know whether it was worth it or not. but. Uh, you know what what the main attractions were and whatever and yeah fruit bat falls and all the ones around here are absolutely fantastic really really cool we're on a nice campsite here um so you can't complain but apparently there's a bull bar that's been ripped off on an old uh, crossing here so i'm going to go and find it so this must have been one of the old crossings which is <laughs> pretty much vertical man I don't think you'd be able to drive up that very easily. And here's the bull bar. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> 